of where they are now. And I said before the game, I, I, I hope I'm wrong from an Aldershot Town perspective, but I'm, I'm expecting an away victory this afternoon, even though Wrexham do not have a good, a good record in North East Hampshire over the years. No, that's one thing that uh, won't count for much today, but it's one thing that shot supporters will cling on to. Horsefield with a nice ball in, headers up, and it's an easy catch for uh, Mitch Walker in goal, but uh, good move, good ball in. We'll be looking at those set pieces carefully today. Toby Edson has been a good player at times this season for shots, not enjoyed his best form of late, and, and, and perhaps he himself will be most frustrated with some of the quality of his uh, set piece delivery because he's capable of much better. He is absolutely, yeah, that one was, was too easy for, for Dibble, who's, who's impressed in recent Ball weeks. Bouncing he's... through the middle here, shots come in, Walker's got enough on it to tip it over the bar, and a great, great chance there for Wrexham to take the lead. Sorry to cut you off. Relatively routine and straightforward for him to get it across and into the six-yard box. Will he lift it? Will he drive it? He lifts it. Header at the far post is wide. Uh, it's really about the players that get off Nubel if he can win it. Up towards Nubel it goes. Comes inside. Header well won by uh, Kelleher. Only as far as... Uh, Whittingham on the right-hand side. Whittingham with a looping cross. Up it goes. And it's missed and followed up. And it should be put home. It is indeed. Joel Newble follows up. An awful, straightforward routine drop by Dibble. And uh, the shots have the lead here in the 26th minute. Aldershot Town 1, Wrexham 0. We'll let uh, Steve tell the radio listeners about that in just a moment. But... Uh, Steve, if you want to listen out for them, for your Goal cue, your thoughts on the goal quick. It's, it's no, a mistake, pure and simple, from, from Dibble. Right, uh, Wrexham looking to respond here. Probably the slightly the brighter of the two teams. Good ball into the box, laid off nicely. Shot's going to come in, it's just wide from Jordan Davies. He set his sights left-footed, drilled it low. And uh, we're in the 40th minute. The shots will be delighted with the scoreline at the moment. And I dare say they're solid performance is candy he's getting a bit of joy down that right side again he makes good progress got jordan davies for company comes back inside via reese and via james rowe rowe will pop it out right to whittingham exchange passes then plays the ball down the line for miller to chase that's going to bounce and go comfortably i think behind no miller's done really well to get it he cuts across the goal line shoots and it's deflected off of Dibble and that was a moment of absolute brilliance from Ricky Miller. Aldershot Town are, are, will be delighted going in at half-time if they do so at 1-0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve set himself up for the commentator's curse there. Good flick on from Newble. Picked up here by Jermaine Anderson. He's into the area and the referee's given a free kick. No, it's offside. Yeah, I think that you'd say there's, there's square pegs in round holes across this Aldershot Town team, particularly in defence, but it's Wrexham that that as the half has progressed, do look a little bit disjointed. They're lacking a bit of fluidity, Ooh, lacking a, a little bit of creativity. Well, Alfie Whittingham's dived in there. Um, he hasn't fouled, but the revenge foul has come in on him. The referee's blown his whistle. There's some uh, squaring up over on the far side between other players who weren't involved directly in the incident. And uh, Jamie Record is one of those coming away. There's no doubt at all. Yeah, the, the second tackle from Record's... Uh, a little bit naughty he's taking trying to take revenge straight away thanks Andrew can we have one more look at it while we got the stoppage in play I know you've just shown it once here we go now Whittingham comes in quite heavy and record straight away just sticks a leg in um, I would have thought the referee didn't blow for the original foul did he so it might just be a yellow card for Jamie record here that would be my initial reaction yes I think it was it was silly you can't take the law into your own hands. No, you can't. And it, 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 is, it is a yellow card. And I think the right decision there from the referee. Corner to Wrexham. We're into stoppage time at the end of stoppage time, at the end of the first half. Shot still lead 1-0. Wrexham, and there goes the half-time whistle. Wrexham ending the half in the ascendancy. The, ga the game has maybe taken on a little bit of a feisty edge as, as the game has progressed and nearly a flare up in front of the away dugout involving Jamie Record and Alfie Whittingham a couple of seconds ago. Ultimately, uh, as obvious a statement uh, as it is, if all shot keep a clean sheet, they're going home with three points. Absolutely, yeah. It, it's, it, is, it is is going to have been a, a big part of, of Danny's half-time team talk. I mean, keep it solid. All shot town have got the advantage. They don't need to do anything rash. Nubel shoots from distance. There's a horrible deflection and it's gone in. And the shots are ahead in the second minute of the second half. 
We'll wait for the replays for a bit finer detail, but the shot come from Nubel. It definitely took a deflection. The re you could see Dibble wrong-footed, rueful as soon as the deflection took place. And on 47 minutes, we shot down a double down. He shot down two, Wrexham, nil. He's scored these before on a couple of occasions. This is quite a long way out. It's, I would say, fully 30 yards. Pretty central. Steps up now. Strikes it, goes through uh, a couple of bodies, and Walker catches it low down to his left. Didn't have a huge pace on it, but what a credit to those who've come in in their place that uh, 67 minutes in here. All shot down, still have a clean sheet. Here's Miller holding the ball up for Reese. Good exchange. Reese gives it back to Miller. Whittingham's making the overlapping run, but Miller's cutting inside. He wants to get a shot away. He is going to shoot from a long way out. Oh, it's just wide. It's tipped wide by Dibble. Miller desperate to get on the score sheet and a rasping drive from fully 30 yards, Steve, behind for a corner. James Rowe's going to take a right-footed in-swinger up at the East Bank end. In it comes. Missed by a couple. Cleared out wide. It'll find Rowe. Rowe thinks about the first-time touch, but passes to Newble, who's just inside the penalty area. Good footwork from Newble again. He's in, squares it, and it's tapped over the line by Jermaine Anderson. A beautiful goal in the creation. Surely completing the man of the match performance for Joel Newble. But Jermaine Anderson it is with a goal for shots. His fourth goal of the season. 68 minutes gone. All to shot town. Three Wrexham nil. Twinkle toes, twinkle toes Joel Newble does it again. Fantastic. Close control. Chinking his way past those Wrexham defenders into the box. Virtually to the goal line. Right near the near post. Pulls it back. And then it's a simple tapping for Jermaine Anderson. He's got a habit of being in the right place at the right time. Ricky Miller will escape the hook this time. I don't think you can take Joel Newell off really today. Um, here's Reese bursting through the middle, looks for the run of Miller, changes, goes the other way. Anderson back in form now after a difficult couple of games, finds Newell on the left and let Newell do what Newell does. He's in the penalty area, tries a shot. Oh, he gets his shot away, it's on target. Comfortable save for Dibble, but my goodness me, the way that boy makes room. Thomas exchanges passes with French. It's half cleared by Columbia, but it's going to run into the path of the uh, Wrexham substitute here. It's spread out to the left-hand side. Record uh, will pick it up, the edge of the area. And uh, shot comes in, but uh, it's from Dior Angus, straight low at Mitch Walker. All right, Steve will update uh, our radio listeners again in just a minute. But here's Wrexham in on the far side. Brilliant shot comes in, it's parried. Oh, and it's the easiest chance of the afternoon for Dior Angus. And leaning black, he's blazed it over. An open goal, Steve Gibbs. 81 minutes gone, shots three, Wrexham nil. Yeah, just couldn't get underneath it. He leant back. It's a wild finish in the end. And maybe that sums up Wrexham's afternoon. Uh, in comes the corner low. Stooping header, cleared by Harry Paniatu. Wrexham will have it again. Uh, Carrington with the ball forward. And uh, Elliot Jarrell's going to shoot from distance. It's an absolute beauty. Rips past Walker. Cannon's back off the bar. And then Walker stands up brilliantly, gets one hand on it just to divert it. And it's smashed behind for a corner. The composure and the quality that they've shown in recent weeks, if they're to maintain that promotion push. Well, thank you, Steve. Beautiful summing up from you there over the last of the final added minutes. The final whistle has been blown by Elliot Swallow. All shot down three, Wrexham nil. Are you in with a shot? More information in the description below. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe. Shot.